what's up guys, in this project, we'll show you how to build a DIY drone claw. We designed and 3D printed a claw attachment for the DJI Mavic Pro. The claw is actuated using a micro servo and remotely triggered using the remote controller. This is really cool because it doesn't obstruct the vision sensors so we can fly safely with obstacle avoidance. You could also use this to pick up the trash, carry objects to research sites, or even camping grounds. The DJI Mavic Pro has a max payload of about two pounds, which is enough to carry small objects. We're using the light sensor on the Adafruit Circuit Playground Express to detect when the LEDs are on. A light pipe tunnels the LEDs on the drone into the 3D printed enclosure. So the servo opens and closes when the LEDs are remotely turned on and off. The enclosure is mounted to the front legs and is completely light proof. The shoulder buttons on the controller can be mapped to turn on and off the LEDs on the two front arms. We used Adafruit MakeCode to program the Circuit Playground Express. MakeCode is an easy to use drag and drop programming language that runs in Chrome. It features web USB so you can upload your code directly from the browser. You can get all of the parts to build your own using the link in the description. M3 screws and nuts can be used to connect wires to the Circuit Playground Express. This way we can easily make connections without soldering. Stripped wires can hook in between the pads and nuts. These can be fastened together to make solid electrical connections. A small rechargeable LiPo battery fits inside the 3D printed case with the Circuit Playground Express mounted on top. Two machine screws secure the case to the 3D printed leg extension. A 3D printed button extension will allow us to access the reset button on board the Circuit Playground Express. The cover snap fits on top of the case and has openings for the USB port and battery connector. The two are clamped shut with additional machine screws making this a solid enclosure. The left arm of the claw is driven by the rotation of the right arm, which is attached to the servo horn. Use a lock nut or threaded insert to prevent the arms from unthreading. The servo press fits into the back leg extension with the shaft of the servo next to the arm. The servo horn press fits into the right arm of the claw and is secured with the included M2 screw. The arm is secured in place using an M3 screw with a threaded insert. We can use a piece of heat shrink tubing to insulate the light pipe, and this will prevent external light from getting into the case. Next, we'll prep the clip for the light pipe by inserting the filament into the small mounting hole. The back leg extension clips onto the two tabs that are on the bottom of the Mavic Pro. The two 3D printed extensions are press fitted over the legs. A small additional clip will keep the wired connections away from the sensors and props. The clip for the light pipe is attached over the LED on the side of the arm. Then we can insert the piece of filament into both of the parts. The USB port is covered with a small 3D printed plate that slides and locks into the case. An additional cover fits over the battery port and slides over the power cable. With everything assembled, the clock can be tested by remotely triggering the LEDs. The code can also be customized to make automated servo movements. Using the light sensor is a novel way to trigger servos, and being able to remotely trigger them without additional radio modules simplifies the build. This build can be used for educational projects like the classic egg drop or even delivering small objects. There's lots of tasks that you can do with the claw attachment. The Circuit Playground Express makes these type of projects more accessible, especially with make code. There's tons of sensors on board, so you can experiment with different inputs. We hope this project inspires you to build something with the Circuit Playground Express and make code. The code is shareable, so you can modify it to work with your projects. Our design files, code, and step-by-step -step tutorial are there, so be sure to check it out on the Adafruit Learning site. Thanks so much for watching, and don't forget to subscribe for more 3D printed projects from Adafruit.